Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the visibility once again started to come down in some areas. I do expect widespread fog overnight early tomorrow morning. A few of the things that, that we are tracking this evening with the high humidity and the light winds and really the conditions the last couple of nights have been ideal for some dense fog to form. So be aware of that into early tomorrow morning. Some precipitation over the weekend, but the weekend as a whole doesn't look like a washout or anything really stormy. Uh, cold weather, much colder weather slated for the middle and the end of next week even though the weekend turns a little cooler we're seeing signs of much colder weather next week downtown providence cloudy skies and humid visibility not bad but it has been coming down a little bit westerly about a mile two and a half in newport two and a half in taunton and only a half mile in the vineyard and these numbers will come down so the low clouds and fog likely overnight temperature east providence east bay retirement living center at 39 with that uh, high humidity and light breezes so really everything coming together for low clouds and fog to reform as we widen out the view you can see snow showers northern new england and back through upstate new york but overhead we are precipitation free so not expecting any uh, rain or snow showers this evening and overnight future cast starts off this evening at 11 o'clock with generally cloudy skies the areas of fog and the low clouds extending through early tomorrow morning at around 8 a.m watch how fast it burns off sunshine gets to work drier air moving in and there you go by late morning and certainly during the afternoon mainly sunny skies will keep sunshine through the late afternoon and early evening hours so it will turn into a nice day even though it's a little bit of a slow start as far as clouds and fog early in the morning and then friday evening should be quiet just a few patchy clouds coming on through so for this evening and overnight uh damp and cool with uh, areas of fog developing temperatures dropping to the low and mid 30s there is at least a slight risk of some isolated areas of black ice. So many nights we've had fog with temperatures near the freezing mark, and sometimes it can get a little glaze, though I'm not anticipating that to be very widespread. Sunshine will take over by later tomorrow morning and certainly during the afternoon, turning into an okay day. A mix of both light snow and light rain showers on Saturday. Not serious, not a storm. Cooler at 39. Small chance of a flurry on Sunday, but some of the new information coming in right now suggesting better part of Sunday, just cold and dry. So it looks okay at 36. Quiet for Monday. Look at the big temperature drop by the middle and the end of next week. Daytime highs, 20s, nights in the teens. The chance for some light snow on Tuesday at temperature at 32. So we're seeing signs of another outbreak of perhaps significantly colder weather by the middle and the end of next week. And right now, the long range forecast. I know I'm jumping ahead. I know it's hard just to predict tomorrow. You like doing that. Uh, <laughs> the long range forecast for the end of January into early Feb is calling for much colder and much stormier weather. So we shall see. We shall see. Yes. Oh I don't boy. like when he does that. I don't like All right, that. thanks.